Uh, hello and welcome everyone, my name is Bruce and today we're gonna go through a more advanced guide how to fly your airplane. But still we're gonna aim it to beginners, uh, an advanced beginner guide. So what we're first gonna do is how to view inside your cockpit, uh, cockpit and outside. So um, start with first um, right clicking and holding on your mouse and you will be able to hover around and uh, see everything and also the buttons are lighting up but if, if it feels like uh, you can't uh, see anything uh, to make it easy don't search for the light switch uh, you could uh, also just go up here with your mouse and go to weather and you can also switch here we have the live weather, but you could uh, make it brighter. So, just for the video, um, I'll show how to do the weather and adjust so you can see everything inside. It, it will make it easier for you. Here you can also make it harder for yourself, add wind layers, put snow. So yeah, oh shit. Look at this. Okay, this is a, this will happen uh, now and then. It, it kind of freezes, but uh, if uh, if you get a freeze, you just wait a little bit, and uh, it will go away by itself. Some people have uh, gotten crashes instead, but I get these freezes instead. So, um, as I said, here can uh, put snow, or you just uh, take the snow away. But yeah. Um, to, uh, to get ready for takeoff, um, you can move down here and flip the switch. But uh, that's uh, releasing the parking brake. But you, in some plane types, even though you are hovering around and trying to find those brakes, you might have to use control and num decimal. So num lock has to be activated and then press decimal here and to move around inside your cockpit you can uh, use your arrow keys you can press uh, Q to get the uh, camera angles uh, to different sides and to get go back you can hold control and spacebar and you're getting back so to, let's get ready for takeoff. So we can uh, take uh, this all uh, and this away if we want to uh, by pressing it. Oh, oh we're backing. <laughs> so yeah, we did uh, adjust the throttle to reverse, so we're actually backing right now. But yeah, in some places uh, by pressing on the yolk, it will go away. But uh, yeah, uh, we can uh, use F3 to, to go max throttle, or or we can uh, also use F2 and F3 to adjust back and forth. And um, by pressing two on not not num lock or or your num pad, uh, you take the nose up. Number eight, you put the nose down, and the four and six is to the sides. Press G to take up the landing gear. And uh, now, when we are up cruising, you should you should uh, lower um, the speed. That was also the warning signal that we had too much uh, speed. Uh, when you are cruising, you want to go throttle down to 69 <laughs> or or lower. And uh, depending on the plane type, it, m it might be a little bit different. Um, if you want to take a view outside of, of your aircraft, you should uh, press uh, Kennedy Tower Day or Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Alpha frequency change. And now you can use your numpad keys Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace to the different sides. Air Alpha, the 
And uh, you can uh, also rotate many different ways. Yeah, you can uh, fool around with the numpad keys. This is minus, and you can also plus. And to get it back inside the plane, press in again. So, as I said, you can use F2 to increase, and uh, to decrease. Cleared through the Bravo Airspace Day and by Sierra pressing Alpha. F3, you yeah, you will uh, put Air extra Alpha, percent on, on the throttle. On you can also do this manually. And when you put it uh, in uh, this space here, um, it, the, the plane will start telling you to put landing Alpha, here. Sierra Alpha, 3,100 feet. Also, a good thing to know is when you use your wheel at the mouse, you are zooming in. Uh, what else we, we could tell in this uh, more advanced guide for beginners? Um, this yellow that thing here, um, that's uh, where we're, the plane is going. The brown is the ground, the blue is the sky. So if you want to go up, you, you will be aiming a little bit uh, up. And you can also, if, we, if you want to land, you can put it a little bit down, but don't go too quick. Remember to take the throttle a bit down if you want to land. And um, lastly, here we can see the feet. So you know um, on which level you are, and also when um, the RPM, their warning sounds. As much often you have too much speed. For example, if we had 100, and we should have around 50 and 60. So yeah, remember to uh, do uh, to adjust the cruise speed. And now when you. When you, when you have put yourself out there, found a good balance, don't touch anything, and if the plane just moves straight forward, then uh, calmly go out and spectate yourself. And enjoy the surroundings. Hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Rusa, and if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a sub, sub to the channel, and please let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Thank you for watching, and have a beautiful day. Thank you.